Hey guys, let's get more news from SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Why Brock Purdy's stock is up. Immediately after the game, I gave Purdy a B for his performance. But after watching the film and realizing how the 49ers failed to put him in positions to succeed, I'd raise his grade to a B plus or an A minus. The 49ers thoroughly embarrassed themselves in their latest Super Bowl loss, but Brock Purdy's stock went up. No, he didn't play quite well enough to beat Patrick Mahomes, but also was far from the reason the 49ers lost. As opposed to Kyle Shanahan who couldn't figure out how to pick up a blitz, or Christian McCaffrey who fumbled, or George Kittle who gained four yards and failed to recover the fumble because he was talking during the play, or Debo Samuel who caught three of eleven targets or Trent Williams who committed two penalties and got pushed around all game. Those five 49ers stocks went down. Despite those players falling short in the crisis moment, despite chaos all around him, Purdy didn't turn the ball over. In fact, he threw a touchdown pass and made some incredible plays. To the best of his ability, he overcame his coach and his teammates, something we haven't seen him do before. Immediately after the game, I gave Purdy a B for his performance. But after watching the film and realizing how the 49ers failed to put him in positions to succeed, I'd raise his grade to a B plus or an A minus. And Purdy was even more impressive after the game than during it, because he took full responsibility for the loss even though he didn't have to, as opposed to Shanahan who threw everyone under the bus and took zero accountability himself. Purdy is the quarterback and the leader the 49ers need. If only Shanahan were more like him. Jenna Brandt is gearing up for her big day to marry San Francisco 49ers star Brock Purdy. In a since-expired Instagram story, Jenna reposted a photo from her fiancé's sister, Whitney Purdy. In the picture, the bride-to-be can be seen smiling in a white dress and matching heels while flashing her engagement ring. Mrs. Purdy in three weeks, Whitney captioned her story, which Jenna chimed in with a series of pink exclamation points in excited agreement to caption the repost. Whitney coupled the Instagram story with a carousel post of similar images showcasing herself posing with Jenna as well as Brock's mother Carrie Purdy under a colorful balloon arch. San Francisco 49ers GM John Lynch gets real on potential Brandon Ayuk contract extension. The San Francisco 49ers are going to have a decision to make with star wide receiver Brandon Ayuk this spring. Coming off a breakout performance in 2023, Ayak is set to enter the final year of his rookie contract. He's in line for what promises to be a huge payday if the 49ers are able to work it out financially. That's the biggest question right now. Rumors continue to point to a potential blockbuster trade rather than San Francisco handing out another big-money contract. It makes sense from a logical perspective. The 49ers have some of the highest-paid players at their respective positions in the NFL. That includes running back Christian McCaffrey, tight end George Kittle, wide receiver Debo Samuel, left tackle Trent Williams, defensive tackle Javon Hargrave, defensive end Nick Boza, linebacker Fred Warner and cornerback Charvarius Ward. At some point, the 49ers are going to have to cut costs somewhere. After all, they are a mere $8.57 million under the 2024 NFL salary cap. Lynch got real in talking about the difficulties that could come with extending Ayak this offseason. He did not hold back. Yeah, there are some challenges, Lynch said, via Eric Branch of the San Francisco Chronicle. I hope so. I think we're set up to do an extension. It takes putting the whole thing together. And there's also things we have to plan for going forward. You can't just be reckless. We never will be. Set to turn 25 in March, Ayak is considered one of the best young receivers in the game. He played a huge role in Brock Purdy's development for the reigning NFC champions this past season. In fact, the young signal caller boasted an absurd 124.0 QB rating when targeting Ayak. Obviously, Ayak's importance to the 49ers can't be overstated. The question here are the financials. As Lynch noted, there are some challenges that come with potentially handing him a huge long-term contract. Currently, Tyreek Hill of the Miami Dolphins is the highest-paid wide receiver in the NFL at $30 million annually. 
Las Vegas Raiders' Devontae Adams comes in second at $28 million per season. Ayak is likely looking at north of $25 million per season on a new deal. That would put him in A.J. Brown territory. San Francisco 49ers receive wild odds to acquire Derrick Henry ahead of 2024 NFL season. The San Francisco 49ers may still be feeling the sting of their Super Bowl 58 loss to Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs in Las Vegas, but the good news for them is that they still look strong enough, at least on paper, to be among the chief contenders for the Vince Lombardi Trophy in the 2024 season. The offseason will be crucial as well for the Niners, who can find ways to shore up their roster. It sounds wild, but there is a glimmer of chance, according to betting odds, that running back Derrick Henry could end up suiting up for the 49ers. DraftKings Sportsbook has given the San Francisco 49ers long odds of plus 10,000 to under the action Derrick Henry, for which team will Derrick Henry take his first snap in the 2024-25 NFL regular season? In fact, that is the longest odds among all teams, shared too by the likes of the Atlanta Falcons, Detroit Lions, Seattle Seahawks, and the New Orleans Saints. Considering that the San Francisco 49ers still have running back Christian McCaffrey, there's really no urgent need for them to make such a splash in the offseason. Henry is also going to be an expensive get, and the Niners only have so much cap space available at the moment for the 2024 season. According to Spotrack, the San Francisco 49ers only have $570,837 of total cap space. Henry also has a market value of over $10.3 million for a one-year deal, so that would require the Niners quite some work to free up enough cap space to accommodate that kind of contract. In 2023, Henry rushed for 1,167 rushing yards and 12 touchdowns on 280 carries for the Tennessee Titans. On Thursday, 4, Tennessee Titans running back Derrick Henry turned 30 years old and gave an interview to the team's official website, giving clues about his future before the final week of the NFL regular season, against the Jacksonville Jaguars, next Sunday, 7, at home, at Nissan Stadium, in Nashville. There will be a moment, in the last game of the season, I will be a free agent after this year, and I have been here eight years, Henry said in the interview with the Titans. I will be grateful to anyone who attends, and I know the fans will come. I hope we can finish the season strong. Chosen in the second round of the 2016 draft by the Nashville team, the experienced running back leads the franchise in rushing touchdowns, 89, and scrimmage touchdowns, 92. In addition, he records the highest average yards per carry, 4.6, before Sunday's match. Henry ranks second in rushing yards for the Titans, with 9,349, behind only Eddie George. And you fan, what do you think of the Derrick Henry situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.